boy, my boy, my boy, my boy. Who gon' bring my crown? Who gon' try to? Hey, what's cracking, man? It's your boy ZK back at it with an interview video for y'all today and a little reaction, man. I'm here with my boy Rich J Kid. What's up, man? He about to leave me hanging. You saw that right there? <laughs> man, I messed up. Anyways, man. Oh, let me let me get the. Now we in here. So I'm with my boy Rich, Rich J Kid. You know what I'm saying? Where you where are you from, man? I'm from Chicago. He's yeah. from Chicago. But I moved out to Arizona when I was young. How old were you when you when you moved out here? Really young. Really young? Yeah, really Damn, young. Damn, that's what's up. So what moved you out here? Yeah, my parents. Yeah, my All right, parents. cool. That's dope, man. So how do you get your name, man? Rich J. Kid. I mean, like, I like to ask everybody just question because. Yeah. Um, really, what happened was, like, I, I really liked uh, somebody else, Rich Homie Kwan. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. Hey, I, I don't know what's up with Rich Homie Kwan, but hey, he, he's fire, man. I remember yeah, he dropped that. back in the day, he used to be, he used to be hot. But yeah. Yeah. But his meaning was like, and his name was like riches and spirit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I like that. I ran with that. And then the J is for my name because my name LJ, but like I didn't want to use L. You know? Right. And then because we don't kid, take L's around here. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and then a kid because I've been doing this a kid since a kid. Hey, that's you know? dope, man. So I mean, you were the youngest producer out. I mean, you say it in your Instagram bio, you say it, and everybody says it. DJ Your Truly was like, yo, youngest producer out here. So how old are you? What is young? How old are you? 16. 16. Man, 16. He's moving very like, I would say, like he's been doing this since he was young, like since you said. I was one years old. Yeah. Man. So how, how was that? Like, how did I you... I used to uh, play other instruments at first. I wasn't always producing. Yeah. And then once I was like 10 or 11, that's when I really got into producing. And then uh, 13, around 13, like, that's when I got into like rapping and all that stuff. That's dope. So like, what instruments were you playing around the house? Like anything? Drums, guitar, piano. Hey, so he, they weren't lying when they said you're a musical prodigy, man. Right. He's playing like six instruments all at once. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about all at once, but he's playing. <laughs> he's playing six instruments. That's crazy, man. That, yeah. like, that's big us, man. So what? Did, what's your pops do? What's your family do? Uh, my mom owns her own business, and so does my dad. Okay, that's sick. Yeah. So are they around music as well, no, or I'm not? The only one in the family. Oh, okay, that's crazy. So you got that? Okay. Yeah. That's that's cool. So who are some of your musical influences, man? Mostly uh, big producers like yeah, Metro cool. Boomin, but like Course. also older producers. Like, yeah, name them, uh, name them, name them. Timberland and you gotta like Timberland. If yeah, you're a producer, you sure. gotta love Timberland. Yeah, for sure. But um, Pharrell, cause Pharrell he can do all types of things. Uh, yeah, rap. I love he Pharrell's. Can, you know what I'm saying? So I like those type of people that are like versatile. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, and so. you're very versatile as well. I yeah. say. I mean, you're rapping, you're producing. What else are you doing? You out here? I mean, oh, you're, I feel like you're man. into fashion. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's dope because I feel like I get that Pharrell vibe from you as well. Mm -hmm. Like just into fashion, music, and all that good stuff. So that's yeah. crazy, man. That's real dope for you. So uh, how old were you when you made your first beat? I mean, you said you didn't play. You weren't producing. When you were one, of course not. 11. I was 11 when I made my first beat. That's dope. Yeah. Okay, so well, who was that beat for? It was just you made it? Just make it. Yeah. yeah. You didn't rap on I it or nothing? Around. I didn't even know. I don't know. I just, once I made the first one, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get like all the, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah. trying to be official with it. So what was it What was it on, your first beat that you made? Uh, like, iPad. iPad? Okay, what app were you using? <laughs> garage Band? Garage Band. <laughs> <laughs> but that, well, I'm telling you, it was the most fire Garage Band beat. Hey, man. bet. I, I, don't, I don't doubt it at all. I mean, yeah, shoot. So I listened to... Uh, Lane Switch, I listened to some of the beats, the snippets. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The snippets you dropped, uh, I 10 with the uh, Jordy in the yep, Days. Yep. Uh, are you on the. I just did, I'm engineering. I engineer all those tracks. Yeah, you did? Yeah, okay, so. cool. So, what were some beats you you made that are like. You sold to some um, some big name artists out here? I'll be working so, with Reese. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Reese, uh, Jordy in the Days. Um, he got this hot he got this hot banger. I'm telling you, he got yeah. this banger coming out. It's called Mags. It's, it's Be on lookout, man. We gotta get Jordy in the days in here, man. So we can do an interview with him. For so, real. yo, so did you do anything with the uh, young Reese when um he dropped a mommy? Were you on there? Yeah, was, I yes. Was, I'm the one that uh, engineered the whole track. Oh, that's dope. Whole, yeah. yeah, that's really dope. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yeah, I produced the whole. This yeah, guy dude. making moves, <laughs> making this. Oh, dude, I'm really, I'm really honored just to be in his presence right now because we're in the presence yeah. of greatness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for him to come over here, he came down from Phoenix, man. I live in Tucson. It's like an hour and a half drive. He came with a boy Marcel, show some love for Marcel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he drove down here just to speak with me, and that, that's dope, man. Yes, you show something about your character, and you're really humble. He said he was gonna be here at two, came at two thirty, but he hit me with a text. He's like, "Yo, I'm gonna be running a little late," and I was like, "Yo." That's the least I could do for you, man. Yeah. Just, hey, I don't care. He drove down to see me and just chop it up. So that was yeah. dope as hell. So um, 
When, how, and when did you meet Young Reese, man? Uh, crazy story. Man. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'll I'm, at a, on. I'm at a party, uh-huh. and then uh, it was actually, I think I was, I don't know if I was with my, 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 with myself, but I was at a party, and then my ride ended up leaving us. Uh-huh. And I'm like, damn, like, how am I finna get to the crib? Because the party was over. You yeah. Know? And I just saw my homie, his name Albie, he knew uh, Reese. Right. So I was like, yo, like, can I ride home with you? And he was like. Reese is uh, going to take me to my car. You can ask him, you feel me? Yeah, right. So I just asked him. I never asked anyone for a ride. Right. But that one night, I just happened to ask him. Exactly. And then we end up chopping it up. And from there, like, I told him, like, bro, like, I make music and all that. And he hasn't made a song at this point. No. Nah. So I'm like, like, let me let me put you in the studio, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. He was like, bro, I, let me let me get in the studio. So the <laughs> next dope. day, we just made, made a hit the next day. And then I, ever since then, we've been clicking. That's been cool. That's yeah. dope, man. I didn't know. Like, so you... Help Reese out, and Reese helped you out, and turn. Yeah, yeah that's like yeah. that's dope. That's like just organic energy, mm-hmm. just working its way. Like yep. that's God's plan. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah, out Drake. For real. <laughs> for real though. So, what are some dream collabor- collaborations you want to pursue? I mean, like, I feel like I can see you with a Drake. I mean, if he gets rid of Boy Wonder, I mean, like, I see you stepping in there. I'll talk. I want to really like work with other producers, though. Like, yeah, not sure. just rappers, but like also want to get in the studio and make beats. And That'd be dope. Like, other producers, yeah, because I feel like I I know a lot of producers that that can I can learn from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want to get in the studio like with the big. Yeah, that'd be dope. Universe. So like work with Boy Wonder, who else? Swiss Beats. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? That'd so, be dope. Yeah. Yeah. Rich, yeah. Rich A. Kid and uh, Swiss, Swiss Beats. beats. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be yeah. fire. <laughs> So, what's a typical weekend or weekday for you? I mean, you're a high school At the student. Studio. You're in the studio. The so studio. what? So you wake up, right? What? What? What is I'm, it? What's the day to day? What is it? If I'm, yeah, I'm be at the studio. Yeah, it's you just you just in the studio. The stu- at the studio. That's dope, man. That's real dope. So, what's your beat making process or songwriting process? Whatever one you want to talk about first. Uh, my beat making process start off with a melody. Okay. Um, then I add the. Really, it just depends on the beat. Right. I always start with a melody though. And then I'll just go to the drums, and then I'll mix it all after. But um, songwriting, like, I write a lot of music. Yeah. And, like, when I write my music and then I put my voice on it and say I don't like the song, yeah. I'll, I'll dish it out to somebody and use it as a reference track. That's you dope. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's, then, how, you, that's, that's how, how you move. Yeah, so I just make, I'm making money, and I'm still making more. Or hits. Yeah, and exactly. get Putting other people on as well. Exactly. See, that's dope as hell. That's, it's interesting. I mean... You're 16 and you know in all this stuff, the back, the back side of hip hop. Yeah. Then I feel like everybody wants to be the rapper and the mm-hmm. glamorous type, but you, you don't mind taking a step back and be like, yo, here's yeah, your spotlight. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I got you. Facts. That's dope, bro. That's really dope. So when did you know you wanted to pursue music? Like all day, every day, 24 seven. Um, when I like, like I realized, I think it was probably like, I was probably 13. I used to play basketball. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. He, he's tall, man. I, yeah. He came over here, I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah, I used to play basketball, but um, I remember I was just, I used to I used to want to play basketball and do music. You right. Know what I'm saying? And then I realized that like I need to focus on one, one thing. Okay. And then I was like, which one do I love more? And I feel like I had a, a promising future in, in music because I've been doing it my whole life. That's dope. So I just decided to quit. I told my parents I didn't want to do basketball no more. At first, they didn't understand you for me. Yeah, yeah. As soon they really, they saw how much I loved it. So. This guy, the man, I got a similar story as you. I mean, I just quit basketball my senior year. And I oh, was like, like, yeah, I was yeah. like, I don't want to play this. I want to do this, what I'm doing right now. Right. Chopping it up with music artists, talking to producers, talking to, I don't know, mm-hmm. young business owners, and just do this every day. Like, this right. is what I live for. And, right. you know, it's dope to see you learn that early on in your life. And you're, now you're pursuing what you want to pursue. And that's dope, man. Facts. So, um... So how did your parents feel about the decision? Like, uh, obviously, they, you said they didn't understand, but what else was it? Just open arms, like, okay, we got you. Like, well, like cool. they always supported me in like my music, you know. What yeah. I'm saying? But um, they never like really told me. Like they always supported me in my music, but they never really said, uh, "Oh, you have to do basketball or you right. have to do something." Like they always said, "I can do whatever I want to do." That's you know dope. What I'm saying? Or like. Even telling them, like, about college, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, whatever works out. But they always, whatever decision I make, they always support, they support you 110. That's yeah. dope, man. Shout out mom and dad right there, Correct. man. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, let me see. So, what type of hate have you received, or if any? I mean, do people be hating on you because you're 16 uh, and you're making I mean, more yeah. moves than they are right now? Yeah, I mean, I don't really like to pay no attention to Yeah, that, of course. Though, yeah, because... 
Yeah, we don't give haters no, no, no energy. energy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't even be hearing what So, you know what? We're going we gonna to skip that question because yeah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you meet Truly, man? Truly's a um, real dope dude. and he, he speaks highly of you. So Actually, I met him through um, Reese. Okay, that and makes sense. Was, he, was, he, he came down to Phoenix and I, mm. I happened to be with Reese. And we just, like, we were talking and, like, he really just messed with me. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he just liked my vibe, you know what I'm saying? And truly a real cool dude. Yeah, so, he is. So, we just kept touching bases since then and linked up. Yeah, that's dope, that's, man. That's, my homie now. that's real dope. Yeah. So, who pushes you to go harder? Not only as an artist, but as personal growth as well. Uh, everybody around me. Everybody? So, yeah, I, mean, I, got, I got people around me that, that really, like, my parents, yeah. more and my dad for sure. Yeah. He really, every day, he always calling me talking about. What I gotta do to yeah. be better. Um, my friends, uh, I got some great friends. I'm telling you, yeah, came dope. all the way to Tucson. Of course, my I got, I got a photographer. He take all my pictures everywhere I need that's them to dope. go. Um, Reese, truly, all them. That's real sick, man. Yeah, I like the I like the team that you all have. Yeah, I mean, for it's sure. like it's like when you see truly. I mean. You know, people be like, they click up and they'll be talking down on each other. But mm-hmm. when I meet Truly, when I talk to you, I haven't talked to Reese yet, but that's in the works. But I feel like y'all just talk highly of each other and you guys like, push each other like really yeah. hard. It's like, yo, yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. this beat's not good, but hey, like we can make it better. Like, let's For do sure. this. Yeah, like, exactly. Or that verse that's wasn't that good, mean. but we can do better. better. Yeah, exactly. That's dope, man. That's dope. You have a team behind you mm-hmm. that's not only experienced, but willing to learn from each other as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So... If you could choose three people to have dinner with, dead or alive, who would they be and why? Man, that's a hard one. That's a hard one? Uh, we got to come back to that. All right, well, uh, we think about that one, all right? We no, but put down the back burner. So, let me see. Are you sitting on any, like, I know, I, I follow you on uh, Instagram, so I know you got a lot of stuff you're sitting on. I got, like, two songs out. Yeah, exactly. But you're yeah. seeing a lot of stuff. So, like, are we gonna see a Rich Day Kid album in the future? Or uh... I'm not planning on dropping an album anytime no? soon. No. But okay. I'm planning on dropping music. For okay. Sure. I'm, I'm gonna keep dropping these singles, but cool. I'm not planning on dropping an album. All right. But, shoot. Uh, hey, that's fair enough. Yeah. That's but cool. I'm. I mean, videos. I got videos coming out. Uh, a lot more music. Trust me. Yeah. A lot more features, shows, all that. Yeah, I I have a quote from one of your songs here. Let's see <laughs> if I can find it. If I delete it, I'm gonna be mad. You good? Uh... Oh, right here, young but I got old money with the snow bunny. <laughs> yo, that was a bar low key. <laughs> I got that, and I was like, yo, this, that was a gem right yeah. there. So, hey, tell me, tell me what that means for the viewers out there. We're gonna have like a genius moment right here. So, what's that? Cause like people be people be thinking like I don't know like I I be doing a lot of stuff. I make beats. I right. engineer, I, I write music. Like people don't really know, like I really be making money, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So, exactly. Like, I don't know, like I really keep it on the down low. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, right? but like I'm a young person making you know what I'm doing what I love to do, still yeah. making the money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just blessed to be able to do what I love to do. That's and, dope. Yes. Yeah, so that's really dope. That's really what I what that came from. But that's, that's okay. <laughs> hey, that's real though. That I didn't even look at it like that, but hey, that's sick. So I like to do some like fun questions. Like I asked you about the three people you want to have dinner. So that's on the back burner. But until then, what's your favorite basketball team, man? Let the let the viewers know. Uh, LeBron James. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a favorite basketball team. LeBron James. He's LeBron James. I said basketball team. Said yeah, LeBron. He, he is on team. Okay. So how how you how you feel about this season, man? I mean, the Lakers kind of. And he's like, no, no, no. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, so what's your favorite color? I mean. Red. Red, why? Just because I, I just always like red. I don't, I don't know. Red <laughs> has just been my color. That's dope. I can't really wear, I can, I can look, look good in red. Yeah, <laughs> I can look good in red, so that's why I like it. Yeah. Uh, so what's your favorite food? I don't need to be. I don't even be eating like that. You don't be eating like that. I mean, if you look at it, I, I mean, some, you can tell you don't, don't be eating eat, like that. I don't eat pizza. I don't eat none, salad. You don't eat that? I don't eat nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat nothing, man. I'm telling you. So, how are you still alive? Exactly. <laughs> exactly, man. You don't saying. be eating nothing. All right, hey. That's, that's going to make a clip for sure. <laughs> Somebody's going to get that and be like. Nothing. I don't eat nothing. <laughs> So how your face? Water. So nothing. <laughs> I don't eat nothing. Marcelo's over here acting a fool. 
<laughs> so like, oh, so man. hey, I know, I know, I got a couple females out here watching. So how how you keep the face clear? I mean, what's the what's the regimen? Is it nothing? Is it Jerk eating? is lotion. <laughs> Jerk is <Yeah>. lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. This is got no, just water and drinking lotion. That's that's Plenty how. Of water, and no food. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's so rich. Cause he don't spend his money no on money nothing. No money on no food. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny. So, hey, what are some tips you can give to producers or some rappers? I mean, like a lot of people say, people be acting weird. I mean, I see it. People be doing stuff for clout and just making beats because it's the hot thing to do. But what are some? Tips you can get to producers that are really down and really you gotta, wanna grind. You gotta um, stay focused for one, and you gotta make sure that you stay being yourself because I see a lot of people they pretending to be somebody they're that not. they're not. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. You gotta make sure you be yourself because it's going in the in the long run it's gonna bite you in the butt. Yeah. So you gotta make sure you gotta stay uh, stay focused, and be who you are, and you'll make it. I promise you. Life tips right there. Yes, That's sir. so. What are some life tips you can give to people? I mean. I feel like you're very, you have some I, wisdom on you. So what's up? Whatever dreams you have, I feel like you need to pursue them. I told my parents, call it. I, I'm I, personally, I I'm smart, you know. What yeah, I'm saying? but like obviously, she, yeah, you know, like, but like I always got good grades. All yeah. that, but for me to tell my parents I didn't want to go to college or something, they're big, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so yeah. like just pursue what you want to do because it's your life. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. That's dope. So let's get back to that number that that question right there. So, if you could choose three people you could have dinner with, dead or alive, who would they be and why? Man, I don't even eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we ain't eating. Okay, if you could sip water with three people in the room together, who would you be sipping water with? Um, <laughs> I don't even eat. <laughs> Man. I don't even know. LeBron. LeBron, yeah, for sure. Just because LeBron's that's smart. Okay, there you go. LeBron's smart. And then... Hold up. Hold on. Before we get to the third one, LeBron, how do you feel about the the 2 Chains album that LeBron with A&R on? How, do you listen to that? Mm-mm. No, you haven't listened to that? I didn't even know about oh, that. Oh, you got You got to listen. I gotta, like, who's yeah. the second person you have to, a died. sip of water with? Because <laughs> we uh, sure kid don't be eating. Let me think. Dead or alive. That's why I'm making it hard. Yeah. Man. Um, hold up, cause you can cut this part out. Yeah, of course. Okay. Hey, we can be here all day. Shoot. Who, who? another? Who another person? That's cool. Yeah, I was talking about like Playboy Cardi. Nah. <laughs> he said nah. 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 You, you ain't drinking water. Man. Nah. Who, who else, bro? Like, I want to think of somebody like I want to learn see. from. You feel what I'm saying? Like Drake. Drake, Drake, Boom. gotta Drizzy. meet with Drake. Okay, gotta cool. Drake. You gotta drink some water with Drake. I wanna, I wanna get his like, I wanna pick his brain. You know what I'm saying? That'd be dope. And then, Drake. Nah, I, gotta pick Brown, a, Drake. I gotta pick a dead person. Yeah. I was thinking about that too, but. Cause he, I mean. Yeah. But nah. You like how he moves? Just be yeah, I like how he moves because like he like a new Pharrell, you know? Yeah, what I'm saying? Like, of course. Like he can do, he produces. Yeah. He he, he makes his own beats. He he directs his his stage performance off the chain. Like it is. everything he do, like he do to the he makes sure he and that's how I am. Like yeah. I don't like to just drop a song. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want yeah, I want to make sure everybody gonna know about the song. Yeah. When I drop it. You for know what I'm sure. saying? So I that's how like that's kind of like why why I would choose probably Travis Scott too. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we got LeBron, Drake, Drake Trav. Nice. Hey, I thought you were going to say Michael Jackson or something like that. Not because I just saw that. I saw that. Uh, you saw that Neverland documentary? Bro, I saw like, that. I was like, what? Never mind. We good. <laughs> I'm like, really? Like, <laughs> I, 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 I don't, don't want to watch it. Yeah, yeah I don't want to watch that. I'm not going to like it. Hey, so that was the Rich J Kid interview, man. Thank you for stopping Thank you for on that. For sure, man. man. Hey, this is the first ever interview. Yes, I mean, sir. you're going to hear about this guy more often than not. I mean, he's going to be on some major... Uh, Albums, major. He's he's on the come up, honestly. Yes, so you tap in his link to descriptions will be in there. You know what I'm saying? I said that wrong, but he, <laughs> links will be in there for sure. And then that's the end of the podcast. I'm gonna have him react to some Dutch rap with me, and we are gonna make it going, make it do what it do. You know what I'm Let's saying? Do <laughs> Let's do it. We all enjoyed that interview with Rich J. Kid. Really a humble dude. Really awesome dude to hang out with, man. Y'all go check him out. Link in the description to his Instagram and Twitter. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're really liking the content of the video. So right now, I'm going to react to some Indian rap, man. You know, because... Uh, but today, we're going to react to some Indian rap. You know what I'm saying? We're going to react to Raftar. 
featuring Brada V. Uh, I can't, I'm, I'm gonna like butcher the name of this song. It's like Naishka Shenkwa. I don't know, man. Ho comment down below, you know, if I said it wrong, you know what I'm saying? Tell me the, the correct pronunciations. But with that being said, man, you know what? Let's get into it. Cool. So here we go. This is Raftar Brother V. Hey, so far the visual go hard, not gonna lie, my bad, I know you're about to talk. Hold on, does this, does this have subtitles? No, okay. <laughs> Hey. Okay. I have no idea what he's saying, but it's hard. It's hard. Let me go. No, I let me go. Hey. He said something about some Dragon Ball Z stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. Okay. He's funny. Like, he got this guy, he's all like dressed out, head to toe, you know what I'm saying? Like, Looks like he rocking some some name product, and then you got my man to the left with the glasses, looking all casual. Like I, I wasn't expecting the rap. No, the this with the bars, be made in but all I ever hear is they ain't gonna be playing my song on TV. Yeah. I'm sitting here wondering why these heads of programming just started in high. Nah, in the kuchh bhi na samajh aaye, but the B mere bhai kar Hindi try. Okay, kafi time ho gaya hai mujhe aaye, but the TV walon ne mere kare nahi chalaye. Okay, he switched up the language. He was going English, and then he's like switching up to Hindi. Okay. That go away. Hey, Z Music Company, man, don't copyright me, alright? We just, re we, we love reacting to music, you know what I'm saying? Low key, this club was lit, I'm not gonna lie. Where's this club at in India, man? You know, comment down below. Okay, that's not like, you know, big shat little thing, you know what I'm saying? Makes sense. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. A little, little pump, a little thing right there, okay. Man, I'm, I'm gonna stop it right there, man, because I, I know, I get, I get it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, for the clout one time, you know, I like how he did the little, um, you know, a little skip dot pop, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. No, um, it sounds like him. Like I don't, I don't know. This is my first time reacting to Raftar, uh, brother, brother V. You know, sounds like uh, he's English. You know, he wants to speak, you know, spit some English bars. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Uh, honestly, I like the beat. The beat went in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Z Music Company for not copyrighting me. If hopefully they don't. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was great to react to, man. So. You know, comment down below more songs y'all want me to react to, you know what I'm saying? I'll be pumping out uh, some reactions almost on the week lead, on the, on like, almost every day. I'm going to try, man. I'm on this YouTube grind, you know what I'm saying? So, let's go ahead and do it. I got some more interviews lined up, you know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be live. So, don't forget to remember, if you ain't up to it, you ain't down to it, then what you going to do with it? And please, comment, share, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>